Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 Talk, where I'll be discussing how to automatically set the probability field for an opportunity by using business rules. But before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Dion Taylor, and I am a Microsoft Business Applications MVP. Feel free to check out my website at d365goddess.com or follow me at Twitter at d365goddess or just connect with me on LinkedIn by scanning the QR code. All right, let's get to it. So let me first demonstrate what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm going to create a new opportunity. And let's just pick an account here. Venture Works Electronic. We can put some dates in here, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to save that. And let's take a look at the opportunity record. So what I want to do is basically you can see here that this probability field has been set to 10 and what I want the system to automatically do is basically up that probability based on the sales stage that I'm in, which is related to my business process flow. So we can see here we're in a qualify stage. I can see that here in my pipeline phase as well. Let's just move to the next stage. Let's say we did our introduction calls and our second follow-up calls. I'm going to go to the next stage. That's now the develop stage. And let me just go ahead and save that. And let me just go ahead and refresh my screen here. And we see now that we are, because we're in the develop stage, we're now at 25% probability. So every time that I go to a next stage, that probability is going up. But you might have people that want to be able to manually enter that probability. You can see here that I created a new field, which is the manual probability field. And it's a yes, no field. And you can also see here by this little key icon that I have field security turned on for this field. So if I'm going to set this to yes, now I can just go ahead and manually override my probability field. So that's really the logic that I'm going to implement. I'm going to set this back to no. And then again, it's picking up the value for my business rules that I have associated with this particular entity. Okay. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to navigate here to make.powerapps.com. You want to make sure you're in the correct environment. I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go here to entities and I'm going to look for the opportunity entity and I'm going to take a look at the fields here and let me open up that field that I was just referring to manual probability. So I created a new field by just clicking add field and you can see here it's a two options field and I have it as, as you can see, optional. The default value is no. And like I said earlier, I also have the, as you see here, the field security enabled as well. And then what I can do is I can give people access to that particular field by creating that field security profile. So that's that manual probability field. And the other thing that I did, let me just remove that filter here. If I go back here to my opportunity form, Let's zoom in here a little bit so we can see that. You can see here that I have my probability field on there and I have my manual probability field on there and I have the pipeline phase field on there as well. And the reason for that is that I'm going to use those three fields in the business rules that I'm going to be creating for this entity. So let's go back and I've already created the business rule. So let me just go ahead 
and pull that up. You can see here, you can go here to business rules and then you can click on ads business rule. And that's how you can create a new business rule. So you can name it right over here. So I'm going to say set opportunity probability field. That's the name of this business rule. And then you can set the scope as well. And this is really when do you want this to be active for one specific form for all forms, or do you want it to be on an entity level? So you can pick whatever you'd like. Obviously I'm just going to say, we're going to set this for this opportunity form. That's the scope, or you can just do any of the other ones as well. In my example, I think I actually did all forms. So what we're going to do is you're going to actually click on here and you can see the condition is already there. So what I want to do is my logic is if this pipeline phase, this particular field, if that data in there begins with either one or two or three, I want to set it that particular field, that probability field to something. So my condition is going to be the source is going to be entity. And then I'm going to say pipeline phase. Oops. I'm going to say begins with one because I might have multiple business process flows. One is one starts with one qualify. The other one starts with one develop, right? You can have stuff like that. So I'm just going to say it begins with one. I'm going to hit apply. And then I also want to make sure that it's not going to set this condition, this particular probability field, if this field is set to yes, then I don't want it to start that logic. So then I'm going to say my second condition, I'm going to say manual probability equals no, or you can say does not equal yes, right? However, however you want to do that. And then you're going to have to click apply. So usually what I do is I actually put a good description on here as well. So pipeline phase begins with one. And then again, you have to hit apply, but then you can kind of see that you get that description right over here. Now, then you can see the X over here and then the check mark over there. What that means is that what do you want to happen if the conditions that we just configured here, if they are met, if they're correct. Well, what I want to do is I actually want to set a field value. So I'm going to drag this over here and I'm going to set it next to that. So if this condition is true, then I want the system to do this. So what I want to do is I want to set the probability field and then I can set that to a static value. So I'm going to say, I'm going to set that to 10. And again, I can put that over here. probability to 10. I can say apply and you can kind of, you can see that here as well. All right. Now we also have the little X that you see over there. That basically means if this condition is not met, then what do we want to do? Well, if the pipeline phase does not begin with one, I wanted to check to see if it begins with something else. So again, I'm going to drag a condition and I'm going to put that underneath that X. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to copy here this name that we have here. So I don't have to type it in. I'm going to say if the pipeline phase phase begins with two. So again, pipeline phase begins with two. And then again, I'm going to do a new one because of course we want to make sure that that other field that we just talked about, the manual probability is not set to yes. So again, manual probability does not equal yes or equals no, however you want to do that. Again, I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm, again, I'm going to set the field value. If that is the case, then I want to set the probability to whatever that next step might be 25. So I'm going to say the so probability to 25. And again, you can just put in there whatever value you want. Probability value is 25. Apply. 
So, and you're going to continue on, right? To put all of those conditions in there. So when you're done, let me show you what that looks like. So this is everything completed, right? If condition, if the pipeline phase begins with, with two, we're going to set that probability 25. If it's not, then we want to see if it begins with three. And then if it does, we're going to set it to 50. And if it doesn't, let me just scroll here to the side. We're going to see if it begins with four. And if so, we're going to set it to 85. And if it doesn't, we're going to see if it begins with five. And then we're going to set the field value probability to 95. Okay, great. So after you've done this, you got to make sure that you save that. And then you actually want to activate that role as well. Let me just hit activate here. And activate. There we go. Now, remember what we said earlier, right? We want to make sure that when people set this to yes, that we can actually manipulate this field. We can update this manually. If we set it to no, we cannot do that. So we got to write a business rule for that as well. So again, we're going to go to make.powerapps.com, right? We're in business rules already for opportunity. And again, I'm going to click add business rule. And you can see here that we already have that condition. I'm just going to enter that name in here. And then again, you can set the scope. I'm going to say all forms. And then I'm going to edit my condition. So I'm going to say, lock slash unlock probability field. Here we go. That's my name. Okay. So I'm going to say if my manual probability field equals yes, then what do I want to happen? I'm going to again, click apply and I'm going to basically grab this lock on lock and I'm going to set it here next to the check mark if that's true. And I'm going to also set it next to the X if it's not true. So if it is true, then I want to unlock the probability fields. Set this to unlock, apply. And if it's not true, then I want to lock the probability fields. Lock that and hit apply. And that's all that we have to do because in the previous one, we already stopped that calculation. So it's not going to calculate it. And with this business rule, we're going to unlock the probability field. So again, you can go ahead and save that and then you can activate that. And that's basically all that you have to do. Like I said, make sure that you put all of those fields that you are working with in that business world that you're actually putting those on the form and then everything should work. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button and be sure to check back again next week for yet another video. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe everybody. Bye-bye.